Welcome everyone to the Derdish Show, a place to sit back, relax and have a good conversation. I'm really excited for our guest today. She's a very good friend, an amazing person, Muna Al-Mazidi. Welcome. Hi. Thank Hello. You. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Is the cat excited? Had her. Hey, Mowgli. Welcome to the Derdish Show, a place to sit back, relax and enjoy a good conversation. So let's just jump right into the conversation. Can you just introduce yourself? Feather, what do you do? I will start when I was young. So when I was like a teenager, I didn't do gymnastics, but I loved gymnastics. Like I practiced gymnastics alone at home. And I, um, I was an, an active person, always. I, I stopped after like 18 years old, but mm-hmm. like when I was 18, I stopped gymnastics after and then only joined regular gyms. Like I just did Pilates, mm-hmm. yoga, mm-hmm. Um, Zumba, what else? Total body workout. I was never a fan of lifting weights or building body muscles or anything like that, but I loved gymnastics. Like I always look at videos of other people doing gymnastics in Olympics and stuff. And that's all. Did you practice gymnastics like professionally or no, just never, at home? No, at never. No, at home, me and the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it started. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I decided to try pole fitness and aerial uh, fitness. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know, can you just tell them what is aerial fitness? Aerial fitness is what you see in the circus so they use the equipment of like whatever you see hanging up there to dance to do moves to to tone your body like you can take it in in different ways like if Mm. you want to take it as fun you can just go and have fun if you want to be an athlete you can use it to become an athlete Mm. or you can just um, perform if you want to be a, an artist. Riyadh al-Hawa'iyya. Riyadh al-Hawa'iyya. Yani, any shape of the hawa, for example. Silks, lira, pole, hoop. Damn, look at me. I know my stuff, yeah. huh? <laughs> I know my stuff. All right, so, so you started when you were young. You were interested. You were curious about gymnastics. And then what happened? Um, so, yeah, so I stopped. So I had uh, kids. Um... I, so this was when you were in the States, right? Yeah, so I started when I was in the States, 2016. So this is when I started doing aerial fitness. Guys, most of the people who see her perform, they don't believe that she just started two years ago, right? Yeah, they think that I'm... Like, I've been living in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do practically well, now. now. I mean, now. if you see her now, she's practically living. In <laughs> now the I'm studio. living. Yes. Yeah, she's alone. There. <laughs> I a want lot. a crowd now. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. So, so that happened in the States? Yeah. And when I was young, I was in the first day. It was every day. Yeah. Mm. From that day. Nice. Um, I never stopped and I never had the doubt of not like being able to continue. That's very interesting you say that, you know, because I'm sure a lot of students or people in general, when they were, they want to do something, they have limiting beliefs, but you didn't. Yeah, I, it was, I had to say that I was very scared. يعني I I tried so many different things و courses و workshops و أشياء يعني ما لها علاقة بالرياضة بس كنت كله أشك يعني هذا حقي هذا مو حقي أقدر أكمل ولا ما أقدر أكمل بس with this ما أدري it was different يعني من أول class كنت أدري إني راح أرد الكويت وراح أدرس من أول كلاس من أول كلاس وكنت ما أقدر أسوي ولا حركة واو <تصفيق> ولا شيء 
وشنو اول حركه تعلمتيها؟ تذكرين؟ ما اتذكر يمكن يعني البنات يعرفون الاسامي الناس ما راح تعرف الاسامي بس مم. اتوقع يمكن بيتر بان بيتر بان اي لايك ذوز نيمز شنو يعني بيتر بان؟ بيكوز يو لوك لايك ا بيتر بان وين يو دو ذا موف سو يو هاف يور ون ارم اب اند ذن ذا اذر ون اكستندد اند يو لايك فلاي اوه يا اي سو ذا موف اي كريتد ا لوت اوف فيديوز فروم وين ابي سوز ذا اي بول دانسر اون ايرن انستركتور بس اي كريتد فيديوز فور سو اي سو ذوز موفز شيز اميزنج All right, so what happened when you came to Kuwait? I think that's a very interesting story. Yeah, so... Um, Can you just watch the cats? In Kuwait, I had... I was a teacher, actually. With the details. And there was a job that was there. But I didn't know that I wouldn't continue. Because I didn't like the job. And there was no relationship with my studies. أه فكنت احاول يعني وانا كنت بامريكا كنت احاول اني ادور لي شيء ثاني اسويه عشان لما ارد الكويت اطلع من معهد الابحاث. طبعا قلت لك خذيت وايد كورسات واشياء وبس أه الاريال هو اللي يعني بس خلاص أه كملت فيه وخذيت دوراتي و أه يعني اي توك a lot of workshops uh, teacher training uh, courses In Paul and in silks, in lira, in hammock, wow. in trapeze. Yeah, I took all of these. Wow. When I was there. So, wow. and I continue taking still. للحين. I know. فلما رديت الكويت حسيت إنه بس خلاص يعني أنا الحين عندي شيء أحبه وايد وما بي أشتغل مع هذا الأبحاث. فخذت كبداية خذت إجازة بدون راتب بس عشان أشوف نفسي وأتأكد. Mm. وفما كان عندي راتب واو wow. بس فبس يعني مضمون بس مو مض... يعني بس أش... يعني المكان مضمون بس بغيت اشوف هل انا اقدر اعيش ولا لا من something you من love. something else yes يعني اوكي okay. والحمد لله يعني رديت ومن اول ما رديت رديت شهر 8 شهر 9 انا اي ستارت تيتشينج واو يس واي نيفر ستوبت سو هاو از ذا رياكشن اند The feedback when you came to Kuwait and you decided to introduce this new field. يعني ربعي كانوا كلهم يعرفون لأن كانوا يتابعوني بالسناب شات بالانستغرام لحين ما كان عندي public account ولا شيء بس يدرون وكنت أقول لهم إن لما أرد راح I'm gonna teach وأصلاً عند رنا يعني أنا I started with رنا من شهر 12 انا رديت شهر 8 ومن شهر 12 وانا حاطه اغراضي اصلا مم. يعني ادري اني انا برد وابلش على طول ف بس آه الناس الغرب كانوا يستغربون انه اخ اكو شيء شيء بالكويت وللحين يستغربون انه اكو شيء شيء بالكويت او بس ف بس ايه يعني الربع كانوا يدرون وكانوا يشجعون يعني ما ما حد في وايد ناس كانوا يقولون لي ايه شغلك بس آه ما راح يكون آه معاش ثابت ولا ما راح تدرين هل يمكن هذه هبه وتروح اتس نوت سكيور اتس نوت سكيور ايه yeah. يعني هذا طبعا الكلام موجود دائما للحين للحين يا اند هاو لونج هاف يو بن دوينغ ات الحين تقريبا سنه قلنا شهر تسعه سنه واربعة اشهر سنة واربعة تشهر تقريبا ايه واو اند يو ورك ايفن وذ كيدز صح؟ قاعد اشوف اي ادرس كيدز تو فا اي اي هاف فور كلاسز بير ويك اربع كلاسات بالاسبوع ادرس اطفال ساعة ونص اها وعندي تو جروبس عندي جروب قديم وجروب دائما يروح ويرد اللي يظل فيه وايد الجروب الجديد انقلهم للقديم مم. عشان يكونون خلاص عارفين اكثر حركات صح. القديم يتعلمون اكثر و... ويعني مستمرين بس اللي يدت في منهم يجون يروحون يجربون اللي تحبه واللي ما تحبه هو oh, it's all about you liking it it's يعني اذا ما تحبين الشغله ما راح تسوينها امم اي اجري وذ يو ذات ميك سنس ليتس ليتس توك اباوت سمثينج ذات هابند تو يو وين يو فيرست كيم تو كويت اون سوشيال ميديا لايك وات Like when you posted an ad, I think it was an ad about pole dancing, and then that was reposted on another account saying that there was this in Kuwait and. Hey, so hey, that one. So it wasn't me mm. who posted it. 
So it was someone else. Mm -hmm. But I think it's um, it's the way that they marketed marketed it mm -hmm. was wrong. Because the picture they used, the audience they had, the audience they had, the words they had, because. That's not what I do, أصلاً. يعني what في so for pole fitness, for example, أكو um, different styles, mm. uh, artistic, و في dancing, و في flips and um, شو يسمونهم flips and drops. فهذا شوي masculine. ف the one day. Uh, advertised for was Akhtar dancing. Okay. And what I focus on gymnastics, Akhtar artistic. So it's mainly what we do in aerial fitness, the hoop mm -hmm. and silks. Mm -hmm. Very similar moves, mm -hmm. this with the fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is what they like about it here. They like it to be artistic. Yeah. And Shabad, I can't be Shaytani. And it really needs strength, huh? It's not I easy. I know. It's not easy. It's not easy, man. I mean, it really takes core strength and commitment, right, for you to... Um, so, like I said, when I didn't want to do anything, it was zero. I mean, I asked you, I think I'm going to do it, because they are the same thing. I mean, the ones who are still with me now, Uh, وايد قاعد يشوفون التطور مالهم فقاعد يصدقون ان انا <تصفيق> بديت نفسهم لانه قاعد يصير فيهم نفس اللي يصير فيني بسرعه بسرعه نايس nice. uh, وشيء ثاني uh, يوني يبون لي حركات جديده فجديده علي فلما اعلمهم اقول لهم ترى انا للحين ما قاعده اهد ف ما ما قاعده اهد ايدي يعني ام دوينج سمثينج ذات اي شود بي ريليسينج ماي هاندز انزين فقاعد يشوفون ان حتى انا لما ابدي ما ابدي خلاص كذي عارفه كل شيء yeah. يعني في موف صار لنا اسبوعين نشتغل عليها اتس اون ذا هوب وحده لعبتها جديده انا بالنسبه لي سويتها مره بامريكا بس على طول ات واز ترانزيشن موف يعني سويتها ودخلت على موف ثاني فما مسكتها وهديت ايدي يعني اتس ان انفرت جست وذ ذا ليجز بس انا انا ديفرنت انجل اتس نوت اتس اتس بينفول اند اتس هارد انزين ف لما جربتها توا قبل اسبوعين مع البنات ما قدرت اهد فقلت لهم شوفوا انا ما اقدر اهد بس اللي بالصوره قاعد تهد فقلت لهم انتم نفس الشيء بس يوم من الايام بنهد وامس هديت نو واي نايس فا ذس از وات از ات از اباوت عرفت از جاست بليفينج وبس وجست انجوي ات يو دونت هاف تو ستريس اباوت ات ولا لازم اسوي الحركه الحين لا I love that. It's just, just gonna happen. But خلاص enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. فأي فأتوقع طلبتي هما يعرف يعني عارفين إحساسي أكثر لأن قاعد يشوفون عرفت. So is that the main thing you see your students face? اللي هو the belief part more than the physical challenges. يعني the ones that I have still have و من نقول شهر أربعة. Uh, they have a different mentality. That's why they're still here. Mm. I don't listen to them that I can't do this. Really? Yes, I don't listen to them. I listen to them that I'm afraid of. Which is completely normal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If you're flying off the floor and doing something. I listen to them that they're afraid of. Okay, yeah. I know they're afraid of. I know they're afraid of. They're afraid of. But no, uh, they just keep on going. Wow. <laughs> the reward is so worth it, huh? Yeah, yeah. In the end. of course, yeah. Yeah, I remember a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, you created something for your students and all of you guys performed. Hey, so, um, I did two uh, student showcases. Mm -hmm. One for the kids and one for the adults. So for the kids, um, I did everything because they're kids. So I, I did the choreograph, the songs and everything. I just taught them in classes what they're meant to do يعني, as a dance. Um, It was hard because um, I did it as a group. So I had to let them sink. Arat. All of them together. Yeah, not all of them, but like I divided them into groups. Okay. But still, like yeah. sinking two together is not so easy. And they're kids, <laughs> you know? 
Um, but, uh, I think it was their first time back. Uh, it was their, their first time, time in front of their parents and strangers. Ooh. Ooh. Not, yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it's like the, the effects that this has on the kids. A lot of kids never performed in front of people, let alone in front of their parents, which I think is even more yeah. stressful, you know? And on something completely different and unique, you know? Yeah. And it's up there. يعني, they know if they mess this up, they will like embarrass themselves <laughs> you can exactly. Isn't that your thought? I was looking at your performance. I'm like, oh my God, what's going through her head right now? Uh, nothing. Do you? <laughs> nothing? I Like in my performance, my last one I did, uh, I just had one move that I was thinking about and uh, it's like one arm move mm-hmm. for like two seconds. And sometimes I slide and it's a one, you know, this uh, two and twelve. <laughs> I, I put a lot of choke <laughs> to keep myself up it's, there. It's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it does but sometimes you can, you just have to make sure يعني, in, uh, you're prepared. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not tired. I don't like before performing, don't stress yourself out. Nice. Chill. Yeah. Nice. So don't. All right. That makes sense. Yeah, and, and I don't like him. to rehearse on the same day. Really? Yeah. Because um, sometimes when you do, sometimes <laughs> when you do, I uh, feel in uh, the first time you do it is good, but then the second time doesn't work. So then you compare it to the first time. But if you don't have a first time on that day, you just do it. You know, you don't have anything else to compare it with. That's an amazing. So just go and do it. Uh, you want to do it a day be- go- before? Okay, do hmm. it a day before, but not on that day. So but mentally, right? it's going to clear that mind. So you don't have to compare. In that same day? Yeah. Okay. Because there's nothing to compare yourself with. That's beautiful. I love that. Because um, I was talking to a fitness coach around a month ago, and we were talking about your maximum weight or whatever to lift. Mm. And he's a strength coach. And he said there's no such thing as your maximum. Every time you're in the gym, you're doing the 70 or 80 percent. Your maximum comes with a lot of factors. Mm. One, rest, like you said. Mm. Two, the environment. Mm. If you're around people and there's audience and there are people, cameras, you're going to perform. That would be your max. It's not in the gym. Yeah, yeah. It's very tricky. That perspective kind of changed my that yeah, idea. Yeah, it's different. You know? it's does, different. That, does that, can yeah, you relate but, to that? Yeah, even like when I rehearse, I prefer doing it with my students. So it gives me the feeling of having people around. Yeah. If you're alone, it's different. It's mm. a different feeling. Yeah. And and with someone else, is even like with someone else around, it's diff- I don't know why. It's just, I think, I don't know. It's maybe it's just you don't want to mess up the dance. But there are techniques. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, for example, I teach my students, <laughs> like, First of all, they have to understand that um, no one will know if they did a mistake because no one knows, knows their, their co- routine. Yeah, right. <laughs> except me <laughs> because sure. I've been like working with them. Yeah. So this is something. This is number one. Number two, um, uh, the techniques. So if they open their eyes, and they look at the, stu- uh, the audience, they will distract them. They will let the audience see their face instead of their body. Mm. So that way, even if they mess it up, just opening their eyes and like, you know, having big white eyes and looking at the audience, it's, they're going to look beautiful without doing any move. Wow. Yeah. That makes sense. That really does make sense. So that's why you tell. So, you, so yeah. Yeah. And if someone is performing and they keep on looking at you, marchuf. You're not going to see yeah, what they're doing. Yeah. Wow. But you're going to see them moving around the hoop. Of course. But you're not going to see the details. Right? Oh, you can see the details. And the clothes are different. This is what I'm going to see. She was supposed to stay longer in this move and she didn't think she skipped. For example, you're just going to see, oh, what are you going to see? Yeah. Look at her gaze. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eh. Do you have some resistance here in Kuwait? I mean, when it comes to... If you wanted to create the perfect show, for example, mm. like if you think of this perfect performance that you could do whatever you want to do, you could wear whatever you wanted to wear. Mm. I'm sure there are limitations, but 
are they that bad or do they limit you or they're open here in Kuwait in that scene? Uh, so outfit of course yeah it's gonna be limiting but again you need skin yeah. to hold right uh, yeah if you if you're talking about Paul hmm. yeah you need the skin to hold so في uh, في um, so في leggings مع leather يعني leather mm. um, spots mm. but they're not safe but you can still perform in them but not okay. everything not all the moves okay but for Paul yes you need your skin mm-hmm. to stick um, so that's why I ask my students to wear shorts and gradually when they become intermediate students they will have to wear bikinis in class of course but uh, for um, silks uh, hoop like other uh, circus stuff no you can just other circus stuff yeah that's the definition huh? <laughs> you can just wear long um Unitards. Is it? Is it uh, this sport or this profession seems like a playground, man? Right? Yeah, 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 it is. A I playground. really feel like as adults we don't really play, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it like I, I hear this a lot from my students, and uh, they feel like they're kids, right, mm. and playing around, especially with the hoop, not the silks, because the hoop is more like a swing. So the hoop, for those who don't know, is just a round. Little. It's a metal. It's a metal. Yeah, and it's heavy. I didn't know that. Mm. It's metal, it's heavy, and it's a circle. It's metal, it's heavy, and it's a circle. Yeah, so we get bruises. A lot of bruises. Wow. Yeah. From what? From it. From just being on it. Yes. Interesting. It's not easy, huh? No. (laughs) It's not easy. Yeah, it takes a lot of strength. So you've worked, I'm sure, with a lot of people in Kuwait and performed with for example Tamara yes how is she I would love she's to amazing her. she's amazing yeah, yeah I think next time you should introduce Tamara her. you should yeah. be on that dish next yeah. time and she's a vet she's the only Kuwaiti vet woman really female but wow yeah and she works at the zoo too, yeah and she's a fitness enthusiast and she's a dancer and she's an aerialist She's amazing here. And an aerialist. Tamara, those are way more reasons to get you on the show. <laughs> yeah, so these yeah, are the so, people you uh, collaborate yeah, with. She's, she, she's my circus buddy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we like train together. We condition together. Oh, I'm very happy that she's here. Tamara. Well, I mean, without her, I don't have anything to do. Yeah, you need that yeah. support, that support partner mm. I agree with you I completely agree with you and guess who's coming after this show Rana <laughs> you told me I'm mentioning I'm mentioning Rana because it's, you practice at her place yes. right yes so Rana she's an old friend of mine I started Zumba with Rana mm-hmm. uh, way back in 2011 yeah <laughs> 11 yes wow I didn't know Zumba was that old. Rana, she started it here even in 2003, I think. I don't know, I'll ask her when she That's crazy. She when she started Zumba in Kuwait. Yeah. So I started 2011. And us were still good friends. Yeah. <laughs> and um, she يعني, opened her space حقي, and she said, do whatever you want to do. Mm. Do your circus. Nice. <laughs> أي يعني without رنا كان أنا يعني ما بديت شهر تسعة. Should have started a long time ago. Mm. Okay, so let's talk to Muna on a personal level. Okay. <laughs> so Muna, you're a mother yes. of two. Yes. For those who don't know, she's <laughs> a mother of two. Um, tell us about your life, your daily life. What do you go through? People don't really know what your day looks like. <laughs> والله ما يدي <laughs> so كل يوم أقوم ساعة ستة ونص الصبح six thirty morning <laughs> my kids they wake me up um, ف... عشان بس بيروحوا المدرسة فأقعد أبدل أخذهم وأديهم المدرسة وأرد البيت أرد البيت أتريق وبس بعدين أبدي شغلي 
ف تقريبا كل يوم عندي كلاسز الصبح توداي اي كانسلت ماي كلاسز بس uh, عندي يعني اي تيتش افري داي اكسبت ثيرزداي از ديفرنت بس ويك داي افري داي فروم 10 تو 1 ف وهم سمتايمز فروم 9 تو 12 يعني 3 hours either 10 to 1 or 9 to 12 that's morning بعدين اروح اخذ لي اهل وارد البيت ناكل نقعد شوي في البيت وجبات وما ادري شنو وكذي بعدين اي هاف كيدز اي تيتش كيدز ساندي سو ام اونلي توكينج اباوت ويك دايز سو ساندي تيوزداي وينزداي بنتي تي معي سو شيز وذ مي ولدي يروح كلاسات عربي تقوية. Uh, he needs it. <laughs> so this is when we go have our activity. Um, so I teach the kids. So بنتي معي وبعدين أرد البيت يتعشون أنا وهم ساعة سبعة ونص. But then I go back to teaching. <laughs> so. You go back to teaching until. Yeah, Monday. but not every day. So Monday and Wednesday. Okay. Sunday it's off. Night off. Tuesday. Um, sometimes I choose. to not do anything or I just train myself. And now when I teach, I'm not training. Of course. I need that time off. So this is when we, me and Tamara, we like um, meet in Flair Fitness, Shweikh Market, mm-hmm. and we condition, we stretch, we do flexibility, conditioning, aerial conditioning, mm. Tuesday nights. Thursday nights is nothing, it's just for me. Friday nights, once I wish I, but I teach in the, during the day. Yeah. Saturday. So you jumped into this field not knowing anything about business. Oh, yes. Not knowing Nothing. <laughs> anything. And you're crushing it. <laughs> and you're waking up at 6, 6.30 a.m. You're taking care of your kids. You're taking them to school. You're picking them up from school. You're teaching classes. You end work some days at 9.30 p.m. And do you give yourself a salary? Or do yes, you, I give myself a salary. She gives herself a salary. She doesn't of course, like every, uh, at the end of each month. She has a day where she gives herself a salary. <laughs> Honestly, she told me that. As soon as she told me that, I was like, eight? I you have to eight? Eight? <laughs> that was it. I was like, Yeah, eight? because I, يعني, أنا مع الفلوس, I said, this is something else, uh, personal. Yeah. I حب يكون مرتب. يعني, even my, uh, مثلا, my business, it's a different bank. It's a completely mm. different so bank, Bobian. أما, my فلوسي العادية, NBK. فلما نعطي نفسي معاشي اتس بوبيان جيفنج ان بي كي عرفت؟ نايس يطلع من هني لهني نايس فاي احب انه يكون مرتب حياتي يعني مرتبه ذات ميك سنس اي اتس ا فيري سنسيتيف توبيك تو توك اباوت ماني بس اي ريلي ثينك ات از سمثينج لانه يو نيد يعني وركينج ويزاوت هافينج يعني سيف ولا سكيور ولا شنو يسمونه يعني معاش ثابت اف يو وركينج ويزاوت هافينج ذات You need to know how much you need. Uh, يعني for me, I wouldn't know if I have the same, using the same account, right? Yes. So I have to have two separate mm-hmm. to see how much I need per month. So I know how much I need to make, right? That's a But great tip for those. So what would you tell girls if they want to start a business or leave their jobs? I'm You should, I think, I think. Well, أنا أول شيء أتوقع أول نصيحة تكون إن لازم تسوين شيء تحبينه. أوكي. ما تسوينه لأن والله يمكن هذا يطلع لي فلوس ولا يمكن هذا الناس راح تحبه. هو طبعا لازم الناس تحبه بعد يعني أنا الحين كلاساتي أنا I like giving teaching and I like aerial but I don't teach them the moves that I like I teach them the moves that they like عرفت؟ يعني بالنهاية customer service number one. for me انزين فهم شنو يبون؟ اعطيهم بس بنفس الوقت اللي انا قاعد اسوي كله انا احبه فانتم بالبدايه لازم تسوي شيء تحبينه بعدين عاد تشوفين الناس شنو تبي من هالشيء ويو اوفر اوكي ميك سنس ذات ميك سنس اي لاف ذات صراحه سو ليتس تراي تو توك اباوت سوشيال ميديا بي مور So, so your account is public. Yes. And it has amazing videos in it. 
some might see these videos as um, tempting a bit not the usual videos you might be seeing in Kuwait so I'm, I'm curious about the response of some accounts or do guys stalk you what happens on your social media account Muna? honestly nothing really they... that's very interesting <laughs> Yani I the comments are I never deleted a comment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so everything you see there, it's there. Um, private messages, I I don't have like it's. Ma عندي شيء. Yani sometimes they do ask questions, but related to the exercise, uh, whatever I'm doing. Yani related to when did you start? Related or how do I get that flexibility? Uh, questions about the things I I'm doing, or just if they just want to comment. They would like say, مثلا شغل شوية hello, keep it up, oh, يعني yeah. nothing, nothing negative mm. and nothing too shocking, and لا ما في ما في I never blocked anyone yet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you think it's because you just don't attract that into your life? Because you see, I mean, you see a lot of things that happen on social media, يعني. I don't know. يعني إيه أنا ما أدري. يعني أحس إن whatever I'm doing, I'm not trying to impress anyone. Mm-hmm. I just want people to join. So يعني يمكن في ناس يحسون إن هذه قاعدة تشيحط ولا يعني مو أنا واحدة ثانية في يبوني بطون شبدها. بس أنا I'm not uh, the way I'm representing my work is like I'm, I want to teach you this. Yeah, come and learn how to do this. It's not see what I can do that you can do. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes. And I'm always saying that I'm going to say that it's hard, but you can. It's not easy. Bruises, pain, but you will. I love those comments or these quotes that you write. Yes, I'll put them in the story. I'll put them in the story. Yeah. That is a huge distinction and I think people really notice that. And when somebody is showing off or somebody is taking pictures, selfies and looking beautiful and showing people that you're not able to do these things. يعني حتى انا وهي يمكن عندي صوره ولا صورتين اللي حاطه وهي عدل in the timeline يعني اكثرهم poses يعني I'm trying to just show what you can do. Show what we can do. Yes. And what do you have planned for 2019? Well, honestly, I did not plan my 2019 yet. Um, People keep saying that when I ask them that. It's like, <laughs> like, but still. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, like, it's two weeks away. <laughs> okay, so uh, last year, I'm going to tell you what I, my plans were for you this year. Okay. So last year, oh, uh, so I really wanted to do my human flag and hold it. And then, يعني مو بس human flag. يعني I can hit a flag, but my flag is like he going down. Okay, <laughs> and I can't hold it parallel to the floor. Yeah, completely horizontal. I'm still not there. Yes, but my um, year <laughs> year my 2018 goal was to have it. I did not have it, <laughs> so I decided not to have goals <laughs> or deadlines. Well, goals, but not deadlines. Okay, I have goals. I still have that goal, yeah. but I'm not gonna write a deadline for it. Because it's it's I doesn't I don't think it makes sense, in to have a deadline, for something. What do you mean? Especially with what I do. يعني with what I do, you can injure yourself by pushing yourself too hard. It's it's your body, it's your muscles. Yes. But ما تبي تبي تأخذ شوي شوي. Yeah. عرفت resting وايد ينفع. Resting. Yeah. Yeah. يعني what do you mean when you say resting? Yeah, I'm going to say, 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 no human flags خلي جسمك بروحه من داخل يعني يشتغل على الحركة مو أنتي Your memory, your memories in the, يعني the cell memories, شيء كذي يعني the cells they have memories, so the muscle cells, yes. So they try to figure out what they need to do. لأن you've been doing it a lot. But he stopped. Well, I stopped for a month. Nothing. I didn't do well. I didn't do the flags. 
يعني I did my training عادي yeah. بس I didn't go near any human flag for a month but then when I came back and they were better you who remember is this, I, this doctor <laughs> that's very interesting <laughs> honestly someone else you can, I hear a lot of <laughs> you can athletes, talk about yeah. Yeah, no, he's I a hear a lot of yeah. athletes use the technique of visualization visualization so basically they visualize oh, themselves yeah. winning صح. you know visualize the move like yeah. you said in their head هو قال حتى يعني حتى ما قال لي فيجواليز هو قال انت من كذا ما تسوينها جسمك الحين قاعد يحاول يستوعبها فجيف ات اتس تايم عشان يستوعبها فهمت لان يو نيد ا لوت اوف بول بوش وبليكس وهذا يعني يو ار دوينج تو ماني ثينجز بريث For those who don't know what the human flag is, it's when somebody holds a pole and they lift themselves sideways. I'm sure you guys saw that on YouTube. Yeah, Just Google it. It's very interesting. It's hard, yeah. So yeah, it's good that you at least you accept the fact that, hey, if my body doesn't want to do it, I'll give it more time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm completely, I mean, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm really happy from this side. I don't have any stress on the moves. If it's a, a move which requires a lot of flexibility, عادي مو لازم أسويها أكو مليون other move. That's what I like. It's different styles. It's different humans. عرفت يعني مثلا I don't ما صراحة ما أعرف الأكس يعني مثلا crossfit ولا uh, bodybuilding ولا أي شيء ثاني مثلا pilates ما أدري هم شنو ستايلهم إنزين Do you have to do all moves ولا ما أدري بس إحنا it's your own style. If you don't mm. like to do splits, you don't have to do splits. Mm. If you want, you can. If you don't want, mulazim. Mm. Aku, so many other things you can do. Arat. Yeah. So you can, يعني, play around, and you can create your own moves. يعني واحدة ذاك اليوم I هذا uh, posted on my story. بنتي دانا. She came up with this move. which is hard which is not uh, يعني I'm teaching my adults now wow yeah so it's a transition from sitting it's almost like a drop to like I can't explain بس يعني from sitting to going under the hoop يعني تحت يعني انت فوق sitting you, on the hoop you, yeah you cross the leg يعني كل هذا so it's you you cross the legs behind the hoop and then you twirl ولا انت تحت بعدين she came up with that I think it's by mistake because she was saving herself from falling. But then <laughs> it's a move. Now we're using it as a move. I don't know which scientists like discovered something by mistake by just. I think all it. of them. <laughs> 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 it was just a mistake. It was exactly. She. I think she was like because I was teaching them a move from crossing the leg. ظاهر هي راحت الصوب الثاني إيه ولا يدها ودتها مكان ثاني عرفت and she just. fell into that other shape and that was a move and that was a move and how do you, i love the fact that she sees her mom in action you know how do you think that affects your relationship with your kids um i think i mean sometimes i think of this question did it change ever since you started taking her with you to class <laughs> i don't know i don't know if she's growing up or it's changed i don't لانه يعني تحاكيني كنها رفيجتها عرفت like how old is she she's eight no way so i don't know if that is her personality or mm. because in class i'm not her mother عرفت ما ادري i can't tell بس بالكلاس يضحكني يعني تحاكيني بطريقه ثانيه يعني ما كني امها like تناديني ماما زين بس يعني الطريقة اللي تكلمني فيها كني انا وربعها واحد عرفت؟ ريلي؟ اي يعني okay. ما في الباوندريز مال شي دازنت توك تو يو از ذا اثورتي فيجر ان كلاس يا اتس لايك اي وانا ترى كنت وايد اقول لها بكلاس ام نوت يور مام لانه ما بيها تحن علي يعني عرفت؟ yeah. بس شيز دوينج يعني شيز دوينج جريت از ا ريليشن شيب ان كلاس اذروايز ما راح كنت اخذها يعني دز شي لاف The yeah, sport, honestly. yeah. She likes this. She likes this. Uh, the sport itself, the class, and the students, her friends. And is it? Does the age play a role in terms of skill? I mean. So, uh, because the hoop, it has different sizes. It comes in different sizes. What I have is forty, thirty-four inch. For, 
the kid has to be 120 centimeters and above so they can sit and reach عرفت okay. ال... but في smaller hoops but i don't have them mm. بس i'm thinking of investing يعني in smaller hoops maybe can introduce smaller For kids. kids yeah have you have you ever did, done like something that includes mothers with their kids Uh, in Ariel, no, but before going to the US 2014, I did um, uh, an, like uh, an event. Um, this is that, that was one of my ideas before uh, knowing uh, the Ariel uh, fitness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, my plan was to create a center for moms and their kids. So I did one event for Anaham. She was that in that event. Um, so the event, no nannies were allowed. No nannies. Yes. Okay. You have to come with your. You say, a, a mom has to come with her par, uh, her kid. So mom and her kid, and they do activities together. So one of their the activities were um, doing play doh from scratch. So making play dohs from scratch. Like they had the powder. They had a tray with the powder and the ink and. يعني the salt to the ingredients and the recipe was there هذه رنا علمتهم so the idea was mine but I used رنا mm. to to teach that class yeah, yeah. so the, the moms helped their kids to make suchery oh there was a storytelling my sister was the storyteller oh, everybody في, sat down yeah, yeah. oh can في Zumba class so my friend Mudawi she did the Zumba class And for moms to be, I had lectures uh, like uh, uh, baby infant massage, um, how to read out loud for the kids. Because the way you read to the kids, it's like your voice, after your tone, it's different. It's like when you read a story, more anything. Mm-hmm. So that was another lecture. I don't remember. So yeah, it was like a three-hour event. I love. But I didn't continue love, with that. <laughs> love what you're doing, honestly, and it's just being flexible, right? Just going and seeing, coming up with this idea and doing it, not knowing whether this, where this idea is gonna take you, or is it yeah. something you wanna do later on. Yeah, and I want to mention this because I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just like yesterday we started doing something new, me and the small kids in class. So we decided to act, okay. not just dance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I told them, oh my, they love to come up with their own routine. So this is something they like to do. Come up. I mean, they know the moves, but different order, right? Yes. Yeah, and then they go and try it. If they don't like it, they change the order. I mean, they make it uh, flowy, right? Flow. I mean, not just flowy. Um, Seem like a sequence? Yeah, a sequence. Like? Exactly. Okay. Yani no poses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one move to another like without any. Hey, exactly. So I know that they like doing that. But I wanted to change it a little bit to like play around with it. So they came up with their moves. Uh, they were four. So four different uh, dances, four different choreos. But then, I told them to have You, you will have to learn it because we're gonna add an act. Foga. You're gonna act. Like an intro, performing. outro, or acting? During. Say more, say more. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> During. And then, uh, what I did, I picked um, three words, four words, sorry, therefore, uh, in paper. And then we f- uh, folded the papers up and they picked. So, Kilwahda, she picked a word. And she had to act it while performing, and we had to guess which word she picked. Nice. Yeah. So uh, that made their performance wow. different. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's genius. <laughs> like the energy that she's giving out as the performance. You guys are have to choose that word. Like. Yeah, like ice. Okay. That's that's my ice face. <laughs> What's that ice? What do you mean ice? Okay, so th- again, the kids they ask me, "What do you mean? Well, how can I tell them ice?" I told them, "Okay, the hoop is ice. How would you dance now?" Stick to it. Arabs. <laughs> so they were like, 
Nice. I can't sit, but she's still going and she's still doing her moves, but she keeps on shivering and you know. It's a bit risky though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The, uh, the, most of them uh, used a hoop, which is like this low. Like they can just literally just sit on it. On it. Genius. Yeah. And then one of them was angry, so she was like kicking the hoop with her legs and pushing it away. But at the same time, she's doing her moves. And how did they react to that? Uh, one of them, she loved it because she takes uh, drama classes in class. Okay. So and she was the best, honestly. Okay. <laughs> uh, the rest, I'm sure they're gonna do better next time because it was new for them. They didn't take any drama classes, but they were really good. Um, we all like guessed their um, words, which means that they're performing adil, yeah. they're doing it right. So yeah, I had uh, the words were anger, ice. Uh, melting chocolate <laughs> so that girl <laughs> was melting <laughs> on the hoop <laughs> nice and say it what was the third one cactus oh that's creative I love how creative you are and you make these classes especially for kids you know they want to yeah they want to do different stuff yeah yeah. so Mona before wrapping it up let's just um talk about one last thing before we wrap up um can men is there a future for you creating a yes, class yeah. for men <laughs> a class i think for this men. is a question they, everybody's asking. <laughs> maybe maybe i will not teach them mm-hmm. but i want this to happen yeah uh because i like that yeah i want it to happen like i really encourage them mm-hmm. to learn especially uh, those who already uh, they like those who do shisma calisthenics yeah so calisthenics guys uh, they can just teach teach themselves they don't need me I mean, they have all the strength all the move is just in using a different equipment they just have to learn how to use the new equipment Instagram is there to help mm. but I really want them to um, get over the idea of men can't do circus arts or aerial dance, you know, they can. They don't have to dance if they don't want to dance. They can do it in a very masculine way. Do, Just we, have, like, do we have to wear tights? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a barrier. It's not about the dancing. <laughs> okay, so if you're okay, so if you're gonna do pole. What I see on Instagram, they're wearing clothes, normal clothes. How? If you said yeah. you need skin. Well, there is, uh, there are people uh, there, up there, okay. wearing like shoes how go- <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> and then wearing shoes, baggy trousers. Wow. Yes, and t-shirts. Because they don't do armos, they do flips. They do back levers, front levers, handstands. They don't need their, uh, they just need something to grip. They, right. do, yeah, they don't need their skin to hold I think you really need to show people Hello. I'm gonna give you two accounts and you can see how amazing they are plus Chinese pole if you heard about Chinese pole Chinese pole is it's a, it's a pole but it's a black and it's rubber shoya, but you have to wear clothes for it they use it in circus okay and um, 90% of people doing Chinese pole are men because it's it's very tough. Mm, okay. Just like straps, yani straps is one of the equipments of circus. You mm-hmm. have lira, uh, silks, um, trapeze, hammock. You have straps, and if you Google straps, aerial straps, you will find more pictures of men, men. than because again it needs those muscles and one hand, um, one arm. Work. Uh, strength. Okay. Right. Yeah, single arm strength, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> is there something we didn't cover in this episode? Um, Feels like we talked about some interesting topics. I know, I think. Madri. All right, so yeah. Muna, it's coming towards <laughs> the end of the show. Thank you so much for thank coming. You, oh, Lord, thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. You are amazing. <laughs> Shukran. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for you're, your support, Allah. You're inspiring so many women, mothers, kids, people around in Kuwait. Whether you know it or not, you're crushing it. Doing whatever you like is amazing. If you want to you بس فإذا بديت تشكون هذا أنا أبي أسوي ولا لا in my opinion it's no it's not that <laughs>
<laughs> so if it's a maybe it's a maybe it's not find something else then راح تعرفون ف don't worry chill have fun you're you're gonna find yourself one day I love that don't worry chill have fun and yeah. you're gonna find yourself one day somewhere somewhere <laughs> It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Watch out now. Cuz baby I feel real good and I wish I would. Watch out now. It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Watch out now. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time and I came to groove. The whole band's here and we came to move. Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes. We're here all night like we got nothing to lose. Coming out the jacket 'cause we're turning up the heat. I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat. Watch out now, baby. Watch out now. Watch out. I'm on the move. I'm going up. Watch out. Everybody watch out. 